structure and that's done. So that's what was made important and makes PCR expensive. You have to have a heating element, heat it up, and then cool it down again when it needs to go down, up and down, up and down through several cycles. The other part of it is that PCR takes too long. Got those cycles. This very fast. Seeing that molecular laboratories remain limited in number, especially at remote areas that are at disadvantage in getting tested, and testing centers are limited and mostly in urban areas, is said to be the aim. This was developed because we realized the need for people in the remote areas and for researchers who may want to go to the field uh, to do COVID-19 testing. The molecular laboratories that we have now are usually with very heavy equipment and very costly and are not movable. So the idea of a point of care uh, PCR testing was developed. While unveiling the kits, the team also called for more support for scientists in Nigeria. My DG has taken a step. We had a grant that had some extra money and we were able to take as much as 6.7, close to 7 million from it to buy these instruments. And then the other one I was doing out of pocket, about 3.7 million at some point had gone into this. If this money has not come forth, it would have been just me. The other part is that if this has failed, that money is gone. That's part of where the support for scientists need to be strong. Nigerians are very innovative. It's just a support system to carry us. While no effective vaccines has been developed to date, it is therefore imperative for scientists to up their game in research to curb the pandemic. Jacinta Obuku, Plus TV Africa. Imo State Governor Hope Uzadima has signed into law the Imo State Administration of Criminal Bill No. 2 of 2020, which empowers him to arrest and detain any resident of the state for as long as he wishes. According to documents, any person detained on the orders of Uzadima can only be released when he grants a license to the said individual. It also abolished all forms of preliminary inquiry or preliminary investigation into a criminal charge by a magistrate or any court in the state and replaced them with preparation of proof of evidence. Joining us now is Frank Boma, member Imo State House of Assembly. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Please, can you confirm there is such a bill empowering the governor to arrest and detain citizens perpetually? It is my bill, fine. And the original copy I presented to the House, a plenary for first and second reading, is with me. I've made it available to the press. It does not contain these obnoxious sections that is being circulated right now. Okay? And I'm not saying that the governor of the state did that insertion. That's not what I'm saying. I've not said so. So I want to be quoted correctly. Because before you know it now, they say the Obama said this, Obama said the governor did this, the opposition said this. Please, I have not accused the government of Imo State for having done that. I am saying that the original copy I submitted to the House, to the 27 members of the House, is still with each and every member of the, 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 the House of Assembly. And they have all acknowledged the fact that this strange alien section is not there. And, uh, of course, after second reading, the bill was sent through the committee on uh, 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 chairman to the to the to the to the organizations that had to make him put into into the into such view like the judiciary the nba and the the, the university they all had copies of the of the deal that i sent and you 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 should have come across a note from a professor in the university who confirmed that the deal sent to them originally does not contain all these strange sections Okay, so whoever that I, I I know that I am I, I should be sure uh, if I am not 
making an overstatement if I say that I'm very sure that, I mean, the government of the day right now couldn't have done such nonsense because they just inherited it. The government just inherited it. The present government came on board and inherited that bill was submitted thing by my humble self while we were still at our permanent site. All right? So that's my position, please. If that is true, what could be the rationale behind what some quarters refer to as a return to military days? That is not true. You see, if, 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 if that is the case, I will say it. You, you know me. Ask people that know me. If that is the case, I will say it. I don't think so. It is not true. The fear is that this is intended to witch hunt political rivals. Is it? I'm taking steps to submit a bill to amend it, those sections that are draconian. Okay? So, so I mean, it shouldn't be a thing for worry at all. Because, uh, I mean, since it has been pointed out and noticed by the general public, and uh, it uh, 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 condemnation trade everywhere. And of course, and uh, we have been uh, informed and we have taken notes, it's definitely going to be amended or uh, expunged. You know, so there's no really cause for worry. But I still insist and maintain that I do not believe that the governor has anything to do with that bill. He just came and, of course, believe that it has been worked on and assented to it. And knowing fully well that he was in the National Assembly when it was enacted. So, so I, I mean, if, I, I mean, we should be reasonable sometimes. Have you thought of possible abuse, especially when this current governor leaves office? That is the not idea. Not, that is what it purports, what it looks like. But, I mean, you can see the outcry that it has even all the members of the House condemned it. The condemnation is trailing all over the place. So, there was no such intentions. That is my, my belief. There was no such intentions. But you know, wherever it came in is unknown to No one could uh, have been able to answer that question. But then it didn't come into that deal at first reading, second reading. No. There is this committee of the judiciary chairman chaired by the chief judge of Imo State. These are the right people to answer this question. The committee contains about four judges. Then NBA chairman, former. You people should ask them. Whether they actually imported that deal, that section. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us on the news.